Um, but that was Jeff a felt long, shy. long grand finals. Yes. I remember that. Like, I left, I got off, and you, and I believe you and Pixel finished it out, right? Me, me and pa uh, Pixel finished yes. it out, yeah. So you and Pixel finished out top eight, and I was just like, oh, I'm going to go play over here for a little bit. And then I'll come back, and then I'm like, wow, the set's still going on. All right, I'm going to go play over here for a little bit and come back. Oh, my God, the set's still going on. What? It's what you, it's what you got to do when you're fighting a good Edelis. You know, you, get, you can't just go at him blindly. That's what the truck wants. The truck wants to run you over. And is, is Rot... Steven, is this a Stephen King novel? <laughs> well, I'm actually surprised. I didn't know Rottweiler played Silvanos now, but uh, that's actually pretty cool. He's going to be going up against Windows, who is the uh, the first seed of one of these two pools in Wave B. Of course, of the, course. Uh, the finest raster in the land. I see that AF. Is that Arctic Frost Windows? Uh, Arctic Fury. Arctic yeah. Fury. Excuse me, Arctic yeah. Fury. Actually sponsors a lot of MPBA players as well, so... And you know, it's good to see them obviously spreading out into the rivals arena. Yeah, and uh, Windows is also a South Florida player, so like they're uh, helping uh, cross regions too. But yeah, just Sylvanas immediately going in with the aggression, Rottweiler rather. And uh, I, I know you haven't seen much of Sylvanas, so here's the, the quick rundown. Anywhere that Sylvanas goes, and he plays runs over, he spreads grass sure. on, that, on that surface. Now if he ever leaves that surface for more than one second, all the grass dies. Just like that. Yeah, and the grass gives him a lot of bonus. It makes his landing lag go down significantly oh, while God. he's over it. Uh, his down B causes all the grass to erupt with the hitbox, um, and his uh, forward tilt shoots out a projectile that only travels along grass, and his side B like it lets him chomp away at the grass. So like tons of really, really good stuff. You see, like that one would have gone on for ages if he was over grass. Oof, with that aerial strong. Yeah, such a unique mechanic for uh, for Raster as well. Allow him to just move around the screen so quickly, those five jumps and the slipstream, and then just really just hard punishes depending on where his opponent DI is. Yeah, and, and Windows is honestly one of the best in the business at following DI and making sure to get lethal punishes oh, all the time. Like, look at like this. Just like that, like 17 back airs. And while he does it, man, he's, he's using a keyboard. Let's not forget. That's the crazy part. Yeah. I was, we played him earlier in doubles, yeah. and it was just like, how? <laughs> I mean, that's he need that frame perfect input. There's, it's only him and Protagify are the only two major uh, rivals players that use keyboard. And the funny thing is, they have to be seated on opposite ends of the bracket every tournament because the game currently doesn't have support for two keyboards being plugged in oh, at once. Oh no! So like, <laughs> we just have to hope they can never run into each other. But God, God forbid they both make grands. In any case, though, I mean, Rottweiler has been slowly bringing this back. Sylvanas is a bit of a heavier character. And Raster being on the lightest end of that spectrum means that with one tipper back air, you know, Rottweiler could take this entire stock back. Yeah, really, it's only about 34% separating them. And now, of course, the stock. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Raster not out of a threat range at the moment. Yeah, or a single hit up air as well would put him very uh, in a very threatening position. But Ra Windows just DIing safely out of range of the second forward air, not wanting to be caught by that sweet spot either. And there you go. Oh, almost getting the pickup too, but Windows able to touch ground just beforehand. Oh, and I love the continuations here. Windows not just content to fight them off in the air, but very, very proficient on the ground as well. Gonna Ooh. just get that out smash. Yeah, full coverage right there with that log. But 100% already, so he's got to make this next opening count. Rottweiler getting picked up. Yeah, forward air into forward clap. That's gonna be it. It's a, it's pretty tough to do. Like Windows is just such an excellent player and has been improving so much, like every single month. Because he, he wasn't even ranked in the top 50 for the first season of Rivals, cool. and then in the second season made it all the way to like seventh place. Yeah, on no, the I mean, I remember it was in January when I first saw, uh, first saw Windows play on the main stage at Genesis. Yeah, you know the man's no joke. And it's so fascinating when we talk about the keyboard mechanics, because of course, coming over from the Smash side of it, we have a Dunk from SoCal, is yeah. a melee player who still plays on keyboard, and that's wild to me. Like just seeing him move, playing Falcon, you know, being able to create like so much, so many great opens and follow ups that I just wouldn't imagine to be possible. And he's just like, no, 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 this is fine. Yeah, this is fine because I don't need to contort my hands. I have my every every function has a finger on it at all times, so I'm ready to go yeah. whenever I need it. No, uh, no carpal tunnel there. Shout out to GameCube controllers. Yeah, seriously, I actually am. Uh, once once Ultimate comes out, I'm looking forward to never having to touch my old uh, game controller again. I've I've seen the light. Uh, the Switch Pro controller is something else. I'm about it. So like all the current gen controllers are so ergonomic. So and like uh, just watching players play on even Xbox One controllers compared to game controllers, I'm just like, man. We used to think this was a perfect controller. Oh my god, I think it was nostalgia that just did the trick. Big ol' yikes. Yeah, it looks like. The ban from Windows, looking at Endless Abyss. Yeah, that way you don't have to worry about the entire ground being covered by grass at once. Rottweiler opting for Frozen Fortress. 
Ooh, good follows there. You know, it's, it's really interesting to watch. And you know, uh, of course, Silvano is able to move so quickly across. But uh, really, just keeping Raster on the ground with these combos when he gets these hits in. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously with the five jumps, Raster able to move around quite easily. But you know, we've seen him take the, you know something as simple as a jab or an L and really take a lot of percent for it. And we're seeing so much patience from Rottweiler too, just respecting Windows' ability to whip punish. It's, it's similar to fighting Puff in melee, right? Where just he's floating around you, jumping around like a mosquito. But you know, if you swat and you miss, you're going to be eating a world of hurt for it. That's why we're seeing a lot of carefulness from Rottweiler. Every time he throws out a hitbox, is in a place where he knows Windows can't swoop down and punish him. Oh, going to be picked up right there. And the Big down damage. special, yeah, straight into the forward smash. Windows going to be walking away there and just floating calmly back up to that top platform, using it as kind of a base of operations, but that's going to be it. Yikes. And then that, that's so, so difficult, because after game one, which was a relatively close affair that Windows really started to take advantage of later on. And now game two, we're looking at barely a minute in and we're just absolutely decimating this first uh, first two stocks. Yeah, that, that's that's a stock where you need to essentially destroy, he needs to land like a tipper back air to make it up for it. And he almost does, but barely coming shy. I like that. Neutral air just straight into down air, getting the sour hitbox, but it doesn't matter. Still gonna send him right off the side. Yeah, but even with that stock, he's still down a full one at this point. He's at, uh, he's at, no, never mind. He's now at 73%. Gonna be having quite a way to go and is down uh, till being called out there as well. Still, uh, overall, getting getting more neutral exchanges as the game goes on. It's just, the question is whether he's gonna have enough time, whether Rottweiler can make the most of these openings. And we see him getting this ticky tack percent right now. Not what you want to see if he's going to try to make this comeback. Good start there. Did you see that? That confirm was actually sick. Oh, oh no. Joe, no. Oh, I hate it. You hate to see that sort of thing happen. I, I want to point out the, the confirm that he got because it was actually it was showing why Sylvanas is actually so slick. Is he did a four.